outside of Cedar Ave, um, right by the World Ministries Mission Society Church of God. Uh, this is the Marley Middle School, Ritchie Highway. You can kind of see through the trees here. So we're one block from Ritchie Highway, right by the 7-Eleven. Overhill Road's one block over. So I think this house has been sitting vacant for a long time. So as you can see, you need a new roof. You have stucco siding. Um, I think it's okay. Once you get these weeds off, you might have to repaint because of the weeds, but I'm not sure. I think I said obviously new roof. Um, got asbestos over here, but it's up there. Flashing, I mean, it's up high, the uh, <laughs> asbestos. Flashing just needs a little touching up. Got a garage here. Maybe get a new door for it. Um, and then you have a different, you have aluminum siding off this little addition here on the back. I do have a fence yard. Well, there was central AC. I would plan on, uh, Getting some new AC, seeing as how I said I'm pretty sure the house has been sitting vacant for a while. My leading evidence is the winterized sticker that I'll show you in the basement. It says 10-8. So it was either win my guess is it was winterized in 2010. Um, so yeah, my first impression was wow, this house is gonna need a ton of work. Not as bad as I thought. I'm really not a fan of these Hubzu properties, though. That's what Gilbert is. Just because, uh, you can see it takes forever to close. Nobody's really paying attention to anything. Uh, in terms of getting the deal to close. Okay. Well, yes, I guess the stucco, you probably just want to paint it because the aluminum here has really discolored it. But as you can see, as I go in, I have a nice little living room. Wallpaper in here has to take down. Most of the electric outlets are updated to the three prong. I did notice that this one right here isn't. The good thing is you have the vents, like I said, for the central AC. Um, the windows are updated to the vinyl double pane. They look like they're Older, maybe not the best quality, but they're the double pane. <clears throat> it's new balusters there. So living room, and you have the kitchen straight ahead. Um, say, I guess this is where the fridge went was straight ahead, where I was just looking. So you have a kitchen here, and then. You have an addition here that's a sunroom. I guess they were using it as a dining room. Although with all these windows, I can see it getting pretty chilly in here. I mean, sunrooms are nice, but maybe because there's not that much living space, it might make sense just to finish this space off into your dining room area. Okay, and there is a step here. So in here is all paneling. Surprisingly doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> One of the windows is open, that might be why. So you have two bedrooms. I think this is a good size master bedroom. Uh, it's. I don't have the measure on me. I, do I have it on me? Yes I do. Hang on one second. It's about... It's about, well... Maybe not. 11 by 13. Um, and then here's the second bedroom. This one's pretty small. It's wide. I mean, it's long, but going this way, it's only about 9 feet. So the narrow part is 9 feet, so it's probably around a 9 by 11, 9 by 12. And as you can see, I guess they had some... Uh, issues with the roof, so they tore all this down. So you're going to need all new insulation and drywall. 
here's the bathroom. And the bathroom has some problems with the flooring. You're going to need some new uh, subflooring, as you can see. And I think I would pretty much just cut this bathroom. Okay. The doors are okay, although they don't really match. You have the one six panel door and uh, two of those wooden ones. So let me go down. The stairs here for the basement, here's my feet. I'm a size seven, so they're pretty small. Um, let's go down. So the ceiling height in the basement here, Seven feet. I couldn't tell because this is uh, distracting. But um, yeah, it's seven feet, so you could finish it. As you can see, the uh, plumbing is updated. The electric wires, they look like they're updated. Might want to update the box to a higher, um, I guess, amount of amps. And as you can see, they probably had mold in here. It might need to waterproof. Not too sure about that. I don't think I saw a sump pump. We'll double check. So I think the way they have it framed out now, if you kept the framing was, you go down and you have a small room right here right when you first go down. I just walked through a hallway and here is a, a bedroom, a small bedroom. Here's the electric panel. I said I think you just want to update it. And uh, there's the winterized sticker. It says 10-8. So I think it's been uh, sitting here for quite a while, this house. And then what I'm seeing here is, I believe, a larger family room. You can see, it used to, I guess, be more paneling that they tore out. And then I guess this was a closet. If you notice, there's not really a spot for a washer dryer, so you need that also. Um, yeah, I think you do need the waterproofing. I don't see a sump pump anywhere. Looks like oil heat, so you'd want to update that. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't no sump pump anywhere, so I guess that's pretty much it for this house. So it's just gonna be a tiny little starter home. Uh, maybe on the main level. I don't know if it, well I guess you just have the two bedrooms, one bath upstairs, and then maybe do a bedroom and a bath and a family room downstairs. <clears throat> I don't know if it makes sense to just turn this into one bedroom here on the main level. But that's about it.